What's up everybody, welcome back to Trash Talk. Padilla and today I have the guy that got me like 80 direct messages last night on <laughs> Instagram. So here it is guy. This guy name is Adrian Forbes. How you doing Adrian? Good man, how are you doing? How you doing? I'm good too man, appreciate that. Uh, so Adrian will be playing with Plita Jaya in, uh, in Bangkok for the FIBA Asia Champions Cup, uh, Sierra Regional. And first of all, you arrived like two days ago. How you settling in? Uh, it's been the transition has been pretty good, um, you know, uh, with the, the coaching staff and the guys really helped me, um, you know, settle in and you know, try to figure things out. So that's um, that's good. That's been good for me. So I know you hate describing yourself, you <laughs> said, <laughs> but not a lot of Indonesian fans knows about you. So can you just tell them a little bit about yourself? All right, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, my name is Adrian Forbes. Um, born and raised in Jamaica. Left Jamaica when I was about 18. Went to the States for you know as a, on a basketball scholarship. Uh, graduated from Auburn University in uh, Alabama. Um, I'm standing at six feet ten inches tall, about 245, 250 pounds. Uh, that's not bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. So, but we didn't get a chance to see your game because you didn't play any like exhibition game or anything here. Right. But can you please describe your game a little bit? All right, um, you know, growing up, I've, I've always been a defensive-minded player because I, I really think defense wins championship. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I consider myself a hybrid, you know, I, my, I do everything, like offense, defense, rebounding, and I'm pretty much a basketball player. I try not to limit myself and say I'm this or I'm that, you know, I'm a basketball player. So, um, you know, that's, that's my thing. You know, I bring that, that energy, that toughness, um, that experience, and that you know, leadership. So you're from Auburn, right? Did you watch a lot of Charles Buckley clips? I actually no, I didn't. So, <laughs> he's never been my favorite player growing up, but you know, I've always, I've always admired his, um, his game. But you know, <coughs> growing up in that, uh, you know, playing in that Michael Jordan era, it's hard to mm -hmm. not favor, you know, be more, not have Michael Jordan as your favorite. Of course, everybody has yeah, Michael Jordan yeah, as their yeah. favorite. But coming off a stint with NLX Red Warriors, you had 26 points, 17 rebounds. Five blocks. So how was that experience and uh, being able to taste the PBA competition and at atmosphere? Oh well, that 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 was good. Was, the experience was good. Um, I, I wish I could I could have been there longer, but you know, everything happens you know for a reason. Uh, I love that platform. Um, I love the atmosphere. I love how the fans embrace the players. Um, but most important, importantly, the 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 NLX organization there. Their first class, you know, from you know, from top to bottom, the way they treat you, the way they go about doing doing things, they've been nothing but first class, and um, I really appreciate the, the opportunity they gave me. And now you're gonna play with the Indonesian national team, actually, who's playing in the uh, FIBA Asia Champions Cup this time. Yeah. What does Coach Victor Roy ask you to do for the team? Um, just you know, be a basketball player, like I said before. Um, <clears throat> you know. Make it have an impact, um, both in offense and defense. You know, you know my, my share my experiences. You know, just you know, being you know, do playing my game. You know, uh, they they know what I can do, uh, so they just you know, want me to you know, go out there and you know, do it. So not a lot of time for you to get to know the system. <laughs> so how hard is it for you to blend with the team? It's it's. Personally, it's not very hard for me because at the end of the day, it's you know basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes back to um, no matter the, the, the language barriers mm -hmm. or whatever. Once you get between, once you get between those lines, it goes back to the X's and O's. Uh, you know, just going out there and playing basketball. Uh, the, the system that coach has has us doing is pretty. Um, it's, 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 it's fundamental, okay. so it's not it's not too complicated where you can't really you know, understand what to do or where to go to. And you know, with my experience, mm -hmm. I think it would be I think it would be it would be 
from the old firm. So with the short preparation, what do you guys have to do to be successful in the tournament? Yeah, I guess I'll score out the team. <laughs> but now nah, um, we just gotta go out and play hard. Uh, play defense first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Rebound the ball. Rebound the basketball. And you know, just run our system. Just believe in our system. You know, execute. You know, be patient. And just you know, play basketball. It's, it's um, <laughs> it's fun, man. It's it's what we do for a living, and you know, it's supposed to be fun. But I want to talk about a little bit about you. Uh, a little bit more. I know you put it in notes, but what is your favorite basketball moment in your career so far? Oh man, do I have a favorite moment? <laughs> Did you ever hit a big shot, game winner? I hit a big shot with one eye back in Jamaica. <laughs> one eye? <laughs> one eye. I hit it. I, I never shoot threes. And my, my teammate threw me a long inbound pass. Uh -huh. The defender, you know, tried to steal it, poked me in the eye. Wow. I caught it, he just threw it up with one eye. And um, what did you guys play against? I don't know. It's just it's, it's one of those local leagues. Okay, okay. But for but you know, on a more serious level, it's mm -hmm. it's receiving a basketball scholarship to go to the states, okay. not in Jamaica. That's been the highlight, and that's been the catalyst to you know push me along mm -hmm. to you know be where I am today. So that's my, that's pretty much my highlight. So do you have any? NBA players that you model your game to? Uh, it was Kevin Garnett. It was Kevin. Oh, KG, love, big I, ticket. Yeah, man, I love KG. Uh, mm -hmm. Ever since I started playing basketball, it's been KG, KG, KG. But um, I, I try to take a little bit from you know Melo. Oh, let's uh, go! That's my favorite <laughs> player right there. Yeah, I love Melo, man. Melo, Melo. I can watch Melo play all day. Yeah, even though he sucks in the. Playoff, yeah. but I still love Melo. I still got love for Melo. Yeah, Melo, you know, he always does his name. But I try to take a little bit from everybody. Melo, um, who else do I watch? I used to watch Amari Stoudemire. Okay, Amari. Because um, well, we are the same age. Yeah, Amari. Some people might not know Amari. Oh, really? <laughs> Young people. Oh, man, Amari was back in his back Phoenix in his days. Man, Phoenix he days was, was a beast. Was good. He was good. Um, Amari, uh, who else? Um, did you ever watch Carmelo? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not Carmelo. <laughs> um, who else do I watch? I know I watch a lot of players, but it just can't come to So you watch the four position, right? right. Power four? The four and the five. Four but four. I mostly watch, I, I really pay attention to the footwork. Okay. Um, and, you know, how they get certain shots off against like bigger players or smaller players. Like, for example, I watch Melo, how he, you know, how he goes against bigger players in the post, in the mid range, and how he goes against smaller players. I even watch Kobe's footwork. Oh yeah, Kobe has, yes. he has a really good mid range footwork. So I try to see how he goes around. You know, you know, sometimes he started working in the post. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm like, if Kobe's a guard can come in the post and be effective, you know, what is he doing? And then you know, I watch a little bit of uh, Akeem Olajuwon. The dream. Yeah. So you got a dream shape in your game? I try, I try, I try a little thing, I try, I try. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that means you're a student of the game now. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Yeah. So, sneaking one more question. Who do you have for the NBA champion? Cavs. <laughs> you're probably saying I'm ridiculous, but no, I, no. I'd never, you can never count out the, the best yeah. player in the world. No matter who he has around him, you know, I give him a shot to win it every day. I don't, I don't bet against the king. No, I never do that. Yeah, never bet against off. the king. Yep. I mean, he came back from 3-1 down against the Golden State Warriors. Who can do anything? Last one. I know you get this a lot. But how many people since you get to Indonesia said that you look like Jalen Brown? Uh, pretty much everybody. <laughs> everybody. <laughs> That's funny. Everywhere I go in the airports, I was in the Philippines, I was in Dominican Republic, I look like Jalen Brown. I'm saying to myself, oh my gosh, I gotta change this. I gotta change his haircut. <laughs> but um, it's it, he's a baller, so yeah, I'm, not, a baller. I'm not. I'm not too mad about it. So, so, so that's all for the interview. Thank you, AJ, for the yeah, time. No problem, man. I never met this guy. I just DM him today, and he said, "Cool, just come through." Really appreciate the love, man. You're the man, man. You're the man. Yeah, I'm the man. man. Shout out to Kuya Asi and Kiefer also, because he played with Alex. <laughs> And Coach Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and forget to follow Adrian on Instagram at A underscore 
B O O G I E underscore one four. That's A Boogie fourteen. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next video. Peace.